Red dots on pistols, are they worth it? So the short answer is uh, yeah, yeah, they're worth it. You should get one. All right, thanks so much for watching. Got any questions, put them, oh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so look, pistols on red dots seems to be, for whatever reason, a topic of great consternation on the internet. And part of that's probably because it's the internet and people are bored. But more importantly, this is actually a fairly dense topic that has a lot of varying opinions. So let's get into our take on red dots on pistols. So there's a couple different avenues or lenses to look at red dots on pistols through, and I'll just kind of go through those. So first, speed. Red dots are faster than iron sights. There's no caveat to that. They are a faster sighting system. And there's a variety of optical reasons for that, but essentially it can be boiled down to, this is a single focal plane. We'll get into that next. But basically you can just put the dot over the target and get after it. And that's faster. But if you're going to take responsible, well-aimed shots, something that I would encourage you to do in competition or self-defense, a red dot is going to be definitively faster. And that's again, because you're not having to align the iron sights and refine that fairly complex sight picture in comparison to simply putting a dot over a target. Next, we're actually gonna talk about the focal plane issue. So a dot is a single focal plane. It's right there in the glass versus the front sight, one focal plane, the rear sight, a second focal plane, and then the target, which is your third focal plane. Now, the target is a second focal plane within so far as in relation to the dot and the target itself, but the way a dot works is that it is sort of just over the target. So if I was to aim in, I don't have to stare at the dot the way I have to check visually my front sight in relation to my rear sight, in relation to a target. I'm not shifting focal planes of my eyes quickly to ensure that I have a refined sight picture. I'm simply staying target focused and I'm putting that dot over top of where I'd like to hit. It also makes accuracy easier. Again, because I only have that single reference point, I'm putting the dot over top of the target. I'm not staying dot focused, I'm staying target focused. And it's a more refined aiming point. Again, that old concept of aim small, miss small. I can use a very refined dot. Now, another thing people say is, well, I've been shooting iron sights for years and now I have to completely relearn my presentation, my grip, the angle of how I hold the pistol, all these things if I'm gonna shoot red dots. Well, sure, uh, but the, what we're seeing is that the total training time on a red dot is substantially less than that of iron sights. And again, it's because the complexity of learning to use iron sights properly compared to the complexity of using a red dot properly. Essentially it is, assuming the red dot's zeroed, put dot on top of where you want to shoot and then press trigger, right? Apply fundamentals and that's it. Now it's still on you as the shooter to apply proper shooting fundamentals, all those things, sure. But the bottom line is I just put the dot over the target and shoot. Whereas again, I'm not having to do all the, the steps of aligning my iron sights properly. So we're seeing that total training time from I've never shot a handgun in my life to I am reasonably proficient and feel capable and skilled enough to carry and use a pistol in defense of myself and others to shoot a competition, something like that. Um, you know, depending on the caliber, maybe even hunt with it, who knows, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, you just, it doesn't take as long to learn a red dot. Now, if you've been shooting iron sights for 30 years, I'm not gonna say it's not gonna be kind of weird, maybe even a little disorienting to put a red dot on your pistol for the first time and learn it. But I promise you, the learning curve is way shorter than it is gonna be for iron sights. And for new shooters, it is substantially faster to train them on a red dot. Now, all of that being said, training is still key. It is absolutely the Indian, not the arrow. Training matters most. A very, very, very well-trained person with iron sights will dominate a novice with a red dot, of course. The final pro I'll talk about with red dots is night vision. Now you can shoot iron sights through night vision. It's really, really hard. Night vision focuses in a single plane. Most guys are gonna focus their night vision to the infinity setting. So anything up close is gonna be very blurry, regardless of how good your vision is naturally. When you shoot a red dot through night vision, all you do is you pull your pistol up and all of a sudden there's this magic dot floating in the air. It's amazing. Arguably, it's a little faster to shoot a red dot under night vision than it is during the day because you got less just stuff to look at. You're not seeing anything. I'm just bringing this up and there's a magic dot in front of me and I shoot it and I hit my target. It's really, really fast. Uh, and it's extremely easy to do, whereas it's extremely challenging to shoot 
iron sights under night vision. Now I just threw out a ton of pros for red dots on handguns. What are some of the downsides? Well, first and foremost, there is cost. There's no question, I buy a gun, and I know I've gotta uh, buy ammo for it, I've gotta put my light on it, I gotta make sure I've got my maintenance uh, stuff ready so I can keep my gun running, and now I've gotta put a red dot on it as well. It's true, it is an additional cost. But the way I look at gear is that I'm worth it. I wanna give myself all the advantages I have. I'm not looking for a fair fight, ever. I want to absolutely dominate and prevail, period. Whether that's in training, competition, or in a real life use of force scenario. Red Dots help me do that. And so I will allocate a budget to ensuring that I have all the tools to set myself up for the maximum success possible. But I understand budget is absolutely a thing and a Red Dot is an additional cost. And second, we touched on this a little bit before, but there is a training curve, a learning curve, if you have been shooting iron sights for a very long time. So a lot of those reasons people throw out for, oh, I don't wanna run a red dot because I gotta relearn X, Y, and Z skills. Many, many of those skills can be learned with dry fire, which is free. And it just costs you your time. And again, you are worth it. So put the time into it and put the money into it. Now I know what you're saying. Hey man, you work for EOTech, you're biased. They make red dots for handguns. I get it. Uh, yeah, we're probably a little biased. I think the E-Flex is a great option. Uh, I'm excited for the progression of this, this optic line as we move forward through the years. It works really, really well, um, but it doesn't change any of the reasons I've laid out. I don't care, buy somebody else's red dot. I think this is a great option. I would encourage you to check out the E-Flex, but bottom line, I want you to learn about red dots on pistols in general and see if it's really gonna provide that value for you that I think it will, because ultimately at the end of the day, uh, at EOTech, we care about the end user and we care about making sure that you guys have every advantage possible. Last but certainly not least, another, concern that people have about red dots is what if it breaks i drop it i get the shot through the optic uh, aliens zap it with an emp sure i get it well as you can see here my gun is set up with iron sights in front of my red dot they co-witness through the lower one third portion of the glass so if this for any reason goes down uh, the battery dies it breaks for some reason an emp whatever the case may be I can still run iron sights. And like I said, I ran iron sights for years. I maintain a proficiency on those. I'll take this handgun out, because this is my everyday carry gun, and I'll just turn the dot off. And I'll make sure the sights are still zeroed, and I can still maintain the standard that I hold myself to with my irons. And then I'll turn the dot back on and train with that too. Again, ultimately, it's just the realization and acceptance that your life is worth you putting time and money into. All right, guys, so that is our take on red dots for handguns. Got any comments or questions, put them below. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Train hard to live free. See you next time.